Hi guys, Rachel is Funky Misfit Girl and welcome back to the big tab bound journal for the giveaway for a thousand subscribers. Um, and today, I this should be hopefully a pretty quick page. I'm just going to do a kind of pretty fun um, image within an image page here. Uh, so... I've got the doors and I've got some more doors <laughs> and my plan is to make them open up against each other. So this one I've covered because I needed, um, I needed tabs on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out, um, kind of on the bottom here because we don't want that extra and then along the top as well so these are going to be my inner doors i hope this works it's really really an experiment but so i'm cutting out my top and my bottom along my fussy cut lines here And I just took a piece of extra of my paper to kind of make this blend in because the, the back side will show when the door opens, of course. Oh, darn it, you guys. I'm an idiot. I was supposed to stop. I just got into the whole um, fun of cutting and <laughs> messed that up. Okay. I was just, oh, enjoying myself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a new piece and we're going to glue a new piece on here. Um, in fact, I'm just going to cut it all the way down then. Silly, silly girl. But I pay attention. Okay, because what I want is a tab on the side here just like this so that I can fold it and use that to glue it in. I'm going to cut these apart. so that they'll open up. These, I maybe need a little tinier scissors. This is a lot of really little spots and I don't want those extras. On there. Okay, brains activate. Sunday and I've been chilling and I've missed cutting apparently. Okay, yeah, so what we want here then, what we're gonna do is just glue this onto here um, might look a little wonky on the back side but that's okay I can put something over it if I really hate it um, and then I want to make it kind of about the same itty bitty. The thing is, is it's a little, there's a little extra here, but I don't want to, if I cut it, will I be okay? I'll still have the top and bottom, right? There's just a little hole there. <laughs> That's okay. That's cool. Um, 
let's give it some ink too while that other side kind of catches. Top and bottom. Um, okay. And I want really just a bitty one, so I'm gonna cut a little more off of here too. And then it's still a little bigger than the other side, but I think that's okay. Um, let's move it. Well, actually, I'm gonna cut it, I think, because I want it. Didn't do the best job cutting that first bit off of there. Okay, that's okay though. We'll just do it the same way as the other side and cut this. So there's that little hole, but it doesn't show. I really should use the little scissors too. These big ones are too clunky for this. Tiny precision cutting. Okay, that's okay, that looks good. Pink it up. Now we've got our doors ready to go. We're going to cut them down the middle. And I was supposed to bring my ruler and I didn't. And I don't think I can get away without it. What do I have? Do I have another? I think I have other straight edges sitting around here. Maybe we can just use this. Tim Holtz card to give us a, a straight line down that middle. Okay. Um, the only thing is I would like this to, no, that wasn't enough. I've got so much weight on these now. And it wasn't exactly centered either. That's okay. It's still gonna be very, very cool. And this is like gone beyond junk journaling and it's now like pop-up art. <laughs> I think for the bigger one though, I'm gonna want my ruler. Um, okay. Would you just go through please? Okay. That's my door. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, the plan is that ultimately this guy is gonna go on the top, right? And his doors are gonna open up inside of here. Actually, here's what we're gonna do before we get into this. I'm gonna open this up so that I can see exactly where this needs to go. So what we need is top, bottom, and middle. I don't want to muck it up, so ruler it is. So no sides, just the bottom here. We're gonna go, yeah, I think right along here. It's a little hard to tell where to stop and start it, but that's okay for the moment. And then this top, we're gonna go along that edge, right? Yeah, just where the wood 
meets the stone and the design. Curve it around. Um, make sure it goes far enough here. And that's cut through. Okay, so now we're gonna go down the middle. Uh, okay guys, sorry about the cut, but I messed this video up because my phone didn't have enough storage space on it for the previous video. So <laughs> I was about 10 minutes in and my phone quit. So I am, I was, my plans originally for this page were to open up these doors, which you saw me starting to do, and then have a second set of doors on the inside. But unfortunately what happened, what you missed, <laughs> is that when I was looking at putting the second set of doors inside, they were just a little bit too big for the space that's here, and I couldn't make them line up properly and also be able to kind of flip open, right? They would have, the flip would have had to go back behind these and it wouldn't have worked. Um, I'm realizing now that I maybe could have cut a little bit more from the middle and maybe made it work. But in the moment when I was filming it, trying to make it work, it really wasn't working and so I decided to set that idea aside and make a pocket inside of this door instead with a little card that's going to slip inside of there. Okay, so that's what we're going to go with instead. And I was thinking about um, putting some little brad handles on this door so that it can open and close. So we'll see about that. Actually, maybe I should put them into a little um, circle to give it a little bit more um, heft. I have this little circle punch that could work really well for that. So, and never fear, I think I'm going to probably use this other set of doors somewhere else in the book before I finish it. Um, so I'm going to just finish up so all I did with this is I glued in this background, which was always my plan to have in there. And I estimated kind of where the pocket, size the pocket needed to be and where it needed to go and glued it in. So you didn't miss a whole lot. And this page is still going to be very cool. So I, I made this card, which is exactly the right size for the pocket. And I happen to have this little extra here that is exactly the right size for my card. So I was gonna go ahead and put that on there and leave it basically blank so that both sides can be for writing. Since I wanna keep making sure that there are writing spots in this beauty of course, what I didn't bring is my ink, which is obviously essential. So fast forward a little and let's ink these up and figure out what kind of circle is going to make the best little doorknob in terms of what we have left for papers. I am running low on this uh, this beautiful Stamperia set that I have here. It's been a little strange because I've been focusing on creating more new digitals um, and 
thinking about what I would maybe like to do for a course. And so I haven't been done doing as much physical making as I was. And I also haven't been um, vending at any events. And without crafters convention in the mix, you know, it's just, it's very different. Um, and so like I come to work more on this journal and I feel a little rusty because I haven't been just kind of in the mix of things, playing with paper all the time like I used to be. But I want to build up the Etsy shop more and really get those digitals cranking because I love doing those. Okay, so this is fine. It's not very exciting, but it's a writing spot. And let us look at what might make a good doorknob. The thing is, this is brown and I want to contrast with it. So I want something that isn't probably also brown. Just kind of looking at, maybe, maybe some of this would work. I don't know, it's pretty weird for a doorknob. Doorknob should be dark, right? And brown, ooh, maybe, Maybe these guys could work. Look at that, y'all. Um, okay, let's test this. If we go like this. Ooh, there's a little. And two of those. And then let's put one, two, three, four. Whoops, that one. Did not stay on the table. Okay, so I'm gonna put two of each of these blank ones with one of the, I'm gonna make sure that you can see me and I'm not off camera. This is like one dot of glue and it's not gonna be very easy to get one dot, dot, dot one, 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 one dot of glue out of this bottle. I need some tweezers for this, these little guys. I generally am not a fan of working on a small scale. Try to avoid doing too much of it. Uh, I started, before I was junk journaling, I was making those little row life miniature houses, if you've seen those, and I enjoyed some of them. A friend of mine gave me a book nook for Christmas this year, and I made that one, and that was a fun one. Um, but some of them are really a pain. Okay, let's let those dry for a sec, and we'll get this guy in here, and I think we'll put the the paper on here. I've got it all taped up and ready to go. So that's gonna go just like that. And that's perfect. And then we can put our little doorknobs on. Hopefully they will work. Okay, let's get this right where we want it. Straight, 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 please. Okay. Super cool. Okay, so we're gonna make some little holes. Find the all. Let's see where we want these guys. Oh, that's perfect. I really like that. A little, little 
those little guys that I chose for um, for the knobs. They're not really dry enough yet. I don't want to mess them up too much here. This is always not as easy to do with an awl as with a punch, but I'm not sure it would be good to punch it with a with a crocodile on these because they're so little. I'm afraid that might be a problem. So I do want to use the awl, but I also need them to to dry. Okay, that's very little, but maybe that allows us to punch the holes too. Actually, how do I want to? Maybe I want to just mark these. I think that might be better just to kind of get a sense. Normally, I would go through, and actually, I think that's what I'll do. Hopefully, that will work okay. Okay, so that guy goes just about like that. And then we're gonna put this one just about here. Maybe a little on the tall side for a human, but this is a door for elves, right? So elves are taller. <laughs> so they want their doorknobs. Higher. All right, and let me take my little brads. Hopefully this hole is big enough that I can actually use it. Probably have to go back and bigging it. It's not quite. Okay, yeah, got that guy in there. All the way, all the way. And then through here. And the question is, I think I might, I don't usually do this, but I think I might just leave my brad legs open. Maybe put a piece of washi tape or something, just a little strip over them. I don't really want to fuss with trying to make covers for the full backs. And I don't think it's necessary. This is, it's not a pocket or anything functional that you need those to be covered. And I think it looks okay showing on the inside. A little bit of the mechanics. Awesome. How cool is that, you guys? All right, so. I think I might just let them be. I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. And then we're going to take this. Not a lot, just a little, and give them a closure. Tiny little guy. Let's see how this will work underneath here. And then I just want to wrap, like maybe once, I'm gonna clip that end. And these are so little, they can't, they really can't get too much on here. So I think I'll just let it be, we'll go like this. 
give it just a little knot up in here. And then you can keep your doors closed. Or you can get rid of the closure too. It looks really cute even without it. And I don't think there'll be too much of a fuss inside of there. But that is it. I don't remember if in the first video I talked about the giveaway. But to enter the giveaway, you need to subscribe to my channel. Watch all the videos in the playlist for this Big Tab Bound Journal. Like them all. Leave a comment. And sign up to my email list. And I'll put all those instructions down in the description thank you so much for all of you who have been watching along and following it's been so fun seeing your comments and reactions and things um and i can't wait to finish this guy up and send it out to somebody so i will see you in the next video